Hello everyone, my name is Polo Reyes and I'm here with Valentin Vega and today we're going to show you how to bleed your hydraulic brake system. We have different capacities from 7 to 8K, 10K and 12K, but it's all the same concept on how to bleed your system. Okay, so before we start, you want to make sure people are aware you are working underneath the trailer. In this case, we have the trailer raised up on the crane with the safety legs and we also removed the wheels. I'm going to introduce you real quick to the tools that we'll be using. So right here we have DOT3 brake fluid and we also have a wrench, a 716 socket and a brake fluid reservoir. Okay, so before we start bleeding our system, you want to make sure that all your fittings are nice and tight. And the next thing you want to do is you want to come check, visually inspect for proper fluid level in your reservoir. Okay, so we have two options here. Right now we are using an auto filler. But in case you do not have this equipment or tools, you can have someone else help you fill up your reservoir. So the next step would be, you would come over here to your rear axle. As you can see, we're already set up with our reservoir here to capture our fluid. And what you want to do next is you want to loosen up your Zerk with a 7 16 And what you want to do next is you want to insert this in here. Okay, so the reason we start on our rear axle is to make sure that we push our air bubble back to the reservoir. So you'll start off on your rear, then you'll go to the passenger side front, and then you'll go to your driver's side front to work your way back to the reservoir to make sure that the air bubble is pushing back up to your reservoir. So one thing you wanna listen for to ensure that your brakes are properly bled is when you engage your pump, you should hear your pump hum, and that humming should last no more than two seconds for your brakes to engage. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna engage our brake pump by pulling the breakaway pin. Once your power turns on, you wanna turn on your valve. Okay, so what we're gonna be looking for here is we're gonna be looking for air bubbles traveling through the line. Eventually, you'll start to see straight brake fluid. Once you start seeing your brake fluid, you wanna come and close your valve to ensure that you do not spill any fluid and to make sure that your system is now properly bled. So what you want to do is you want to come and close your auto fill, close your pump, and next, or the last step would be, put your pin back in your breakaway, and we're all done. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.